Hello there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Giselle, and if you're new here, welcome. I know it's been a minute since my last upload. <sighs> if you guys only knew, I got COVID again for a second time, and it was pretty brutal. Um, I fell behind on my filming schedule, but I am back, and today I'm going to bring you a mix of monthly favorites, but also just summer staples that I think would be beneficial to pretty much anyone that decides to try them out. But yeah, and I also picked up um, two items during the Sephora Memorial Day sale. I'm going to be showing it to you guys today in this monthly favorites and somewhat like summer staples because I think they would be a great addition <laughs> to your routine. So without further ado, let's get started or you know what, let's just dive right in. So I'm going to go ahead and start with hair because that seems to be the most that I have to recommend to you guys. Summer is my favorite season of the year. But I deal with a lot of hair issues because of humidity and just um, my hair, it just, it doesn't do well in humidity. So if you're like me, I hope these products can come in handy for you. So one of the first things that I want to recommend to you guys in terms of humidity is these, these, oh my god, is this um, anti-humidity spray from Orb. I always say Oribe, that's like the Latina in me that comes out, but this spray is from Orb. I absolutely love this spray. It's very good at taming like your flyaways and just keeping your hair looking very polished. It gives your hair a nice shine but it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy and it doesn't make your hair feel like way down or sticky. So for me, this is the best one that I've tried and you can use this like right after styling your hair or if you know you're gonna go out and your hair could probably <laughs> use a little help, go ahead and just spray this on top. The bottle looks small because it's a five ounce bottle, but a little goes a long way with this. I've had this spray for I want to say over a year now and it still feels really full and trust me when it gets really really hot I spray this on my head <laughs> so if you haven't heard of this or if you just haven't tried this product definitely give it a try and just let me know what you think for me it's one of my staples I always have it every summer and I sometimes I'll pair it with this next product which is this is one of their more famous products this is the orb um, beach wave and shine spray this spray is just phenomenal you can use this on wet hair you can use this on dry hair and what it does is it gives your hair these like gorgeous gorgeous like curls or not curls because it doesn't make your hair curly but it helps your hair hold a curl without feeling crunchy or sticky or like weighing it down I have it in my hair today um, I curled my hair with the Dyson and then I sprayed a little bit of this to keep it in check. I absolutely love this spray. All the other curling sprays that I've tried normally weigh down my hair a lot and I lose the curl, ironically. This one doesn't do that. This one helps your curl stay smooth and really natural looking. But if you really like that like curly thick um, barrel, this will also help you hold that too. Um, and speaking of curls, this next product that I want to talk to you guys about is from Dry Bar. This is the Southern Belle Volume Boosting um, Root Spray. This is, I feel like, such a lifesaver for me especially because I, I find at least that the longer your hair is, the harder it is to get volume and keep it. This one is insane. This takes your hair from like flat to like bush. Like the name Southern Belle could not be more applicable to the spray. 
it's a mousse by the way it's not a spray so all you have to do is on towel dried hair you spritz out like a big bubble rub it in your fingers and scrunch it in wherever you want volume and what I do to maximize the spray I will tilt my head upside down and with my Dyson I will dry my roots with my hair upside down and then I will pin it in sections and then I'll go ahead and blow out or or dry but if you do it that way like I'm saying if you dry your hair upside down you will see insane results with this this is something that I use year-round but I find that it's really helpful in the summer because our hair gets oilier we sweat more so to have something that can really like stand the test of heat and just summer in general is awesome so if you haven't tried this one give it a shot <laughs> now speaking of volume right the next product that I want to recommend to you guys is one of my all-time favorites I use it year-round it is from Amika and this is the Brooklyn bombshell spray oh my god <laughs> like the name is so fitting for this spray too because it really does give your hair this like voluminous bouncy like Victoria's Secret waves like blowout I should say but it also helps to curl your hair so I the only thing with this that I will say is that if you overdo it this will weigh down your hair and it will make your hair feel sticky <sighs> sticky is such a bad word but it's like not sticky but like I mean yeah it does feel sticky it feels a little crunchy and it feels a little bit sticky kind of like and like the product doesn't finish drying all the way like you know how sometimes like you'll notice something sticky on like your counter or something and you touch your finger to it and it, it like has that like you know what I mean this unfortunately will do that but only if you super overdo it so what I like to do is once I've done the root lifter <laughs> I will suction my hair and I will spray this between like two sections I won't do it per section because I find that to be a little bit too much with my hair but I'll grab like two sections that I'm working on like let's say if I'm working side by side and I'll do like one spray and then I'll finger comb it all through and I find that that's more than enough which is great because I've had this product as well for over a year and it's still fairly like at the top it's still up here somewhere so I mean if you're looking for something to give you that Farrah Fawcett Victoria's Secret just like voluminous big curl bouncy hair give this a shot <laughs> you won't recommend you won't forget that one <laughs> um let's see oh well continuing with Amika you guys know that the summer is all about sweating and this is when the dry shampoos really come into play my all-time favorite is this one from Amika as well this is the perk up dry shampoo this thing has become such a staple in my life because it smells phenomenal it does the job it doesn't leave any white residue on your hair and it does not weigh your hair down one of my biggest issue with hair products is having it weighed down and kind of like losing the natural texture of my hair this product will not do that this product really does just do the job without causing other issues so you know this is one of those oldie but goodies definitely a staple and always a monthly favorite if it were up to me if you haven't tried this I'm pretty sure you can get a sample from Sephora like you can use 100 points and get one of those little trial sizes they always offer this as a trial size so I would say definitely check this out <laughs> let's see what else oh my god so many hair products okay I'm gonna recommend one hair oil because I love hair oil and I've been using the same one for a very long time and it's this one from Kara Stas it is the dark orange collection it's the discipline line honestly I love everything in that collection the discipline line is fabulous I used the advanced discipline line so this is the oleo relax advanced oil it's the darker orange one and you can see it's still all the way all the way up here at the top and I've had the same bottle for over a year I want to say close to two um, 
but this is just so nice. All you really need is a pea size amount and you spread this from mid shaft to the ends of your hair. I love applying this. You can apply this to wet hair by the way, but I like to apply it to my hair right after I finish styling it because it really tames your hair and makes your hair look really youthful, really healthy, bouncy, shiny, and a little pea size amount is all I use because if you use too much of this, this oil, it's like a syrup. It's very thick. It's not like other oils that I've tried that are like watery. This one is really thick. But personally, I like that. I like having oils that have like a substance to them because I feel like they're more effective. So this one, I just use a pea size amount and it does the job and it stays on your hair for days. And it's so if you have to like touch up your hair or anything like that, you don't have to worry about having this product already in there and you can always reapply. So if you haven't tried it, <laughs> try it out. <laughs> I promise you, you're not going to regret trying that hair oil. I know everyone is all about the Olaplex oil or the Jisoo hair oil, but honestly, like, I love this so much that I haven't even bothered trying the other products. Maybe I should, who knows, but I just care stops all the way <laughs> for me. Um, okay, and speaking of care stops, Speaking of the same Discipline line, this is the hair mask that is in that same collection, the Discipline collection. I love this hair mask. It is just so fabulous. It is hydrating. It is just intensely nourishing to your hair. Like I will always notice a difference when I style my hair after I put this in. I do leave this on for as long as I possibly can. So sometimes I like to soak in the tub with this in my hair for a while. Or if I'm in the shower, I'll put it on. It'll be one of the first things that I do and I don't wash it off till right before I have to get out. It's just one of those products that when you put it in, it feels very luxurious and it makes your hair just like, <laughs> It's like your hair is just drinking a glass of water. This is how this feels. And it helps a lot, a lot with frizz and with flyaways. You will notice that you won't have as many issues once you've used this mask. And truthfully, I'm running low. So, which is why I picked up this other hair mask that I wanna to mention to you guys because it's also a favorite. I don't pick this one up as often, honestly because I find it to be pretty expensive. Some of the Kerastase masks that I use are cheaper than this one, but this hair mask is very, very nice and you will get really nice, healthy results with this one as well. This is the Christoph Robin Regenerating Prickly Pear Mask. This was actually in the sale for Memorial Day at Sephora. This is one of the items that I picked up. <laughs> and I picked it up because I'm running low on my hair mask stash, so I kind of want to start building it up again. This hair mask is one of those really nice hair masks for the summer because it's it has a pretty heavy base of prickly pear oil. Yeah. So when you wash this off and you style your hair, your hair is very shiny, it's very silky, very bouncy, and it just gives you, you know, it adds on to that effortless summer hair that I guess we all just love to have. Um, but definitely, if you haven't tried this, you can definitely go to Sephora and ask them to give you a sample of it. It's just, oh, and it smells very nice. I wouldn't say it smells better than Kerastase products because Kerastase products are just like on a whole other level when it comes to scent. But this hair mask is one that if it's on sale and you can snatch it up, definitely do so because it is worth the try. And it, it brings a lot in the container, actually. It's 8.4 fluid ounces, so worth the purchase when on sale. <laughs> okay, okay, that wraps up hair. I think I've been babbling on about hair for a while. So now we're going to move into skincare. I don't have a lot of products for skincare that, I, that are like current favorites, you know, but I will mention products that are like all-time staples for me. So the first product that I want to mention to you guys is from Fresh. And it is the Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. Oh my god, the light is like a little crazy right now. And I absolutely love this face wash. It goes, it feels like a very, very refined face scrub is what it feels like. It's, it won't suds. It does not suds. Repeat, it does not suds. Okay, so I know the 
title face wash is a little misleading. It does not suds at all. So what I like to do is I'll go on with a I'll go in go on. I'll go in with a cleanser first and then I will use this second. But what this is, it's it's a very fine uh, kind of liquidy scrub so it lets you work into the skin and you can get rid of all that dull dry um, skin and just exfoliate a new layer but what I really like about this product is that it doesn't stay as a scrub it kind of melts into the skin so after enough scrubbing you will just have like a smooth canvas and once you rinse that off you will immediately feel the difference on your, on your skin and that's just one of my favorite favorite things about it so if you haven't tried it try it go ahead and give it a shot um and going right in with scrubs this is me this is me this is my all-time favorite scrub it is from Ole Henriksen it is the pore balance facial sauna scrub and the title is completely completely fitting this product is just, I repurchase it all the time. As you can tell, I'm almost out. I will be repurchasing soon when that 15% coupon activates on Sephora. <laughs> um, but this product, it has volcanic sand in it and it has something else that pretty much activates the product. So when you put it onto your fingertips and you rub it, you will feel it getting warm. And that's when you start scrubbing it into your face and this product pulls out all the oil all the dirt all the grime all the buildup that just gets clogged up in our pores especially over the summer i have oily well i have combo skin but my t-zone is insanely oily so i love using products a lot in the shower especially products that just <clears throat> pull everything out <laughs> because that helps my pores stay clean and that helps me avoid breakouts because breakouts are just like not fun but yes i highly recommend this product if there is anything that you try from all these things that i'm recommending it should be this you will not regret trying this no matter what kind of skin type you are it is just great this is one of those products as well that as soon as you wash it off your skin feels brand new and oh and it's not insanely um like stripping so you're not gonna feel like your skin is just like desperate for hydration after this it's just such a great product and i hope they never discontinue this because i don't know what i would do <laughs> so yes if there's anything that you pick up from this it should be this okay and another product that i want to mention is SPF sunscreen because summer is the time when we're supposed to use this the most so I want to recommend to you guys the Laneige Hydro UV Defense sunscreen this product has it's SPF 50 by the way this product has really really changed my mind about SPF I used to SPF hate SPF because of the smell the white outcast the way it would change the texture of my makeup or the finish of it this product is wild and when i say wild i mean it in a good way i use two finger lengths of it it goes on it goes on and it feels really heavy don't get me wrong like you put it on and you're like oh my god i put on too much but as you massage it in your skin starts to pick it up and it just leaves you with this gorgeous smooth shiny but not not shiny dewy it leaves you with the smooth dewy canvas and apparently you can use this as primer instead of your regular primer I did that today so what you're seeing right now the amount of luminosity that you're seeing is from this I also did not apply highlighter I did not apply highlighter today because I wanted to see how this product would really work on camera and honestly, I'm, at least from where I'm standing, I don't need highlighter. <laughs> um, but yes, this product has really changed my view on sunscreen. Some of you, depending on how you 
like your products. You may not like this, the finish of it, because it feels like a lighter version of silicone. Like when you're, like a silicone primer. Like once you're done, it does leave like a very smooth um, canvas over your skin and you can definitely feel it. So like if you're someone that that, you know, that bothers you, like feeling product on your skin, I understand, totally understand, may not be for you. But I liked it because as soon as I put on like my routine, you know, foundation, concealer and all that stuff, I didn't feel it anymore. Um, so I definitely think it's a product that it takes a little getting used to, but once you're used to it, you just really, really like it. I, so far, I'm loving it. And I look forward to actually finishing a whole container of SPF. I normally don't. They usually expire on me before I finish them. So I want to see if I can fully get on with this and complete it. If I do, I will let you know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what else do we have. Okay, this last skincare product is a little heartbreaking for me because I have a deluxe sample of it and that's what I've been using but it is the Guerlain Advanced um, Royale Youth Water Oil. This is the um, <laughs> this is the serum. Well it's not a serum it's a water oil but this is the sample that I've been using. I got a deluxe size and I have to tell you guys I have never ever used anything quite like this it is youth water oil could not describe this better when you pick it out when you use the dripper you'll notice that there's these little yellow um balls in it and that's the oil and it's in a water base so when you put it on your fingers and you massage it on your skin it's very refreshing it's very just like transformative. It makes your skin feel like you don't need moisturizer. It makes your skin feel like all you need is that one product and you're set. I really wish that that product wasn't as expensive as it is because I would totally buy it. But I did see, so if this is, this is for you guys if you're looking for something new to try. I did see that Sephora has a set of this on sale. They had it on sale for Memorial Day and I saw that it was still in the sale section for 184. So you get the full size serum and then you get half ounces of pretty much everything else in that collection. And it's for $184. But if you're a Rouge, you can redeem 2,500 points and get a $100 promo code and then you can get that whole set for $84. Honestly, I was considering doing it. I was right about to redeem some points for that $100 promo code, but I didn't because I decided to commit to the Clarins products that I showed you guys in a previous video. I'm using them right now. I absolutely love them so far. They are incredibly just hydrating and they make my skin feel totally different when I put them on. So I've decided to commit to those products and that's the only reason why I didn't pick up the other stuff because I'm trying to not overbuy anymore. I'm trying to just use what I have, get through it so that I can give you guys my honest, just straight up truth opinion about it. So I didn't pick up those products, but if you can, I highly recommend that you do because the serum alone retails for like $180 or something like that. So if you can get the whole set for $84, that is worth your points. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Our second to last category is makeup. And I have quite a few products to recommend to you guys. The first being these products from Nude Sticks. If you guys are looking for a different bronzer, if you guys are looking for a different blush to try out, these are cream based and I love the shades Bondi Bay um, and Sunkest. These both have a matte finish even though they're cream products, but they don't go on, like they don't look matte on the skin. They look very dewy, they're very workable. I'm wearing both of them today. So if you like this tan that I have going on right now and this gorgeous blush that I have going on right now, it is these two products alone. 
I absolutely love these year round, but during the summer, I guess with the heat and they, they just, they glisten a little different and they look really dewy and natural on the skin. So again, if you haven't tried these before, <clears throat> this is Bondi Bay. Let me open it up so you guys can see. It's a very nice matte brown. It actually looks a little lighter than what it is here on camera. And let me show you, oh my God. <laughs> let me show you Sunkissed. Sunkissed is like a burnt brown red. And you may think that it won't look nice on your skin, but it literally gives you the name, Sunkissed. It really looks like you spent all day on the beach on Ocean Drive in Miami, and you're just heading towards your hotel or going home, and the sun has just literally just like glided over your face. That's what this makes you look like. <laughs> so if you haven't tried these products from, Sa oh my God, from Sunkissed, from Nude Sticks, I highly recommend you give them a go you will not regret it, okay? Finger stamp of approval, stamp of approval right there for these. <laughs> okay, now the next products that I wanna recommend to you guys are all lip products. You guys know I love a good lip product. So the first lip product that I wanna recommend to you guys is an all-time favorite. It is from L'Occitane. It is shade O2, I believe it's called Sunset or Summer Sunset, um, but it's just <clears throat> this gorgeous, like, darkish it's not really dark it's like a like a mauvey pinkish red uh color but it is just gorgeous on the lips it really does give you it actually adds a lot like the bondi oh my god why am i getting these names wrong today just a lot like the sunkist <laughs> it gives you that like burnt burnt like sun pink like just left the beach, my lips are a little agitated from the salt. It it's just gives you this really, really nice lip color. And you can do a full swatch or you could just do little dabs of it for a little stain and it is just gorgeous. But I feel like no one talks about this color shade, so I'm putting it out there. Give it a shot, you will love it. Oh, also, also, <laughs> it's not drying on the lips. And it's not a matte lipstick. I believe it's a satin finish, but if you just dab it on instead of doing a swipe, you will get that like really cute stained matte look with it. I love this lipstick. It's my second repurchase. I highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for something different um, to try from like a new brand. There you go. Now this ne these next two products are from Dior. I did mention these when I picked them up in my Sephora haul video. This is the shade um, Jardine Sauvage. And this is the Dior Addict Lip Glow in Mahogany. Um, I just, I cannot rave enough about these products. This is the Jardine Sauvage shade 820. This is a lip balm. I thought this was a lipstick. But it's not, it's a lip balm. And unfortunately, they don't offer this shade in the lipstick, at least on Sephora they don't. I'm gonna check the Dior website to see if they do. But I absolutely love this tone. It is a burnt, like reddish brown. It comes off a little more brown sometimes, depending on how much you apply on your lips. But it is just such a natural, like nice transition into summer shade because it looks really natural, but it also looks like a little brown, a little a little warm. So I, I like wearing this, like if I'm going out or if I have something serious to do, like a call on the job, I like putting on the shade because it has that little bit of like effort to it without being extra, you know? And, oh my God, you guys, this lip glow, I cannot get enough of this mahogany lip glow. I'm, I'm telling you, it is just such a gorgeous color. When you first look at it, it looks like a plumish brown. And you're like, oh my God. Like, that's how I felt. I was like, oh my God, why did you pick this color? But honestly, when you put it on the lips, it's so natural. It's so like dewy. And it just enhances your lips without like making it look extra. It's just like perfect. Like that like minimalistic summer makeup right here. 
<laughs> and the last lip product that I want to recommend to you guys is from Jouer. I just, I can't, this is the Lip Enhance Lip Balm or, yeah, Lip Enhance. I reached out for this so much that I've actually blurred out all the letters <laughs> on the tube. But I, you know, like I have the Laneige lip products, I have the Bite Beauty Agave lip mask, and for some reason, I just keep reaching for this. I just love how, like, effective this product is, and you don't need a lot. I like that it doesn't, it does have like a nice coat on the lips, but it's not like Laneige or Bite where it feels like you have like a lot of product on the lip. I like that for like going to sleep, but not like throughout the day, you know? So I just find myself reaching a lot for this and it also makes lipstick application pretty much seamless. And it also helps to keep like the lines on your lips from like being more noticeable with lipstick. I don't know, it just, it does a really great job of keeping your lips hydrated, but also just making your makeup look good. And I mean, who doesn't want that, you know? just. <laughs> if you haven't tried this lip product from Jouer, give it a shot. It's totally something different. You know, if you have something that works for you already and you want to stick to that, by all means. But it's just, I love it, you know? And I just wanted to share it. <laughs> okay, now sticking with makeup, but two different products. In terms of primer, you guys, this new from YSL is it's just been such a nice experience that I just I want to mention it one more time as a monthly favorite it's really hydrating and it doesn't feel like a primer on your skin at all it feels like just like face cream that just happens to work amazingly with makeup and it does make your makeup not make your makeup but it does help to make your makeup or keep your makeup I should say it does help to keep your makeup looking fresh I've noticed that I don't have to do a lot of touch-ups when I wear this as a base and I think it's because it helps to keep your makeup look dewy and just like not crusty you know because after a while when you've had makeup on for a long time you most likely will need a touch-up to avoid looking crusty I find that I don't need that with this as long as I use a setting spray I'm good to go and I just, I'm so happy that I found this. If you have, if you guys haven't tried this, give it a go. I, I'm really curious to see how this works in the summer. I want to see if this is able to withstand like heat and all that. If it can't, then I guess I'll have to go back to the milk primer. But I'm, I'm very curious to try this out. So I'm going to keep you guys updated on how that goes with this during the summer. <laughs> um, okay, this next product that I want to bring up is from Alpha H. This is the Liquid Gold Firming Eye Cream. And I picked this up during the Sephora sale because to my surprise, it was on sale. Um, so I picked it up. This is what it looks like. I put it on today. Today is the first time that I'm using it. Um, but I wanna mention it because um, this product came across to me as a recommendation because sometimes I experience milia in my eye areas and what milia is if you're not familiar with that it's just you'll get this collection of like little white dots that tend to accumulate like right here and they look like little pimples they look like little whiteheads but they're not um, it's just a skin condition that happens when you start accumulating like too much oils or too much products on the skin so this is supposed to combat that and I've heard nothing but good things when it comes to using this eye cream, especially with makeup. Um, a lot of people say that eventually the milia is gone and it doesn't come back as long as you're consistent with using it. So if you guys are someone that also has those little white dots that happen to come up sometimes, give this a shot. I'm going to give it a shot and I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. but. All the other eye creams that I've tried don't assist with that so I'm really hoping that this will and I'm hoping that I've just discovered like a whole new favorite but we'll see but I wanted to bring it up in case you guys are also struggling with trying something new 
maybe that can be your holy grail too. Okay, <laughs> now this last product that I want to pick up is a brush set from IT Cosmetics. I actually picked this up from Macy's during one of their sales too. I also think it was a memorial sale that they had, but they had this huge brush kit on sale. <clears throat> so I picked it up for anyone that's looking for new brushes. What caught my attention about this brush set was this domed brush that's shaped like a triangle for foundation because I don't have any brushes that are shaped like this. And I have to tell you guys, I have become quickly quickly obsessed with this triangle shaped foundation brush it just lets you get into like any little crevice you know like if you flip it you can get right through the brows you can get right in the corner of the eye come around you know get the angles in between the nose it's just it's really really just become a game changer for me and I'm probably gonna pick up a few of these to have a spares <laughs> But I wanted to mention that brush and I also wanted to mention the um, angled cheek brush. I'm pretty sure this is a blush brush, but it's like an angled brush. I absolutely have become obsessed with this brush. It is just so fluffy and it picks up product amazingly well and it makes everything look just like airbrushed. And I just obsessed, obsessed with this brush too. And I'm also obsessed with this dual ended eye brush that it comes with. You have your smudger and you have your eyeshadow brush. I have I love dual ended brushes because I just love the idea of a two in one and this one has been great. Um, and it comes with a really big, looks like concealer brush. This is either a concealer brush or some kind of like, uh, what's it called, contour brush. Oh no, it's a concealer brush. There you go. Which, this is huge. I've never had a concealer brush that's this big, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. And what's this big? And this is a big powder brush right here. And it also comes... Oh wait, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it for all the brushes in this set. Yes, that is it. So yeah, I just really wanted to bring this up because I thought this deal was great for all these brushes. They're high quality brushes, they're beautiful, and they just really changed the game for applying your makeup. So if you're looking for new brushes and you want to pick up something new, I highly recommend this. I also really like the case that it came in. I thought it was just going to be like one of those cheap like cardboard boxes that you throw out, but it's like an actual travel case which I'm going to be using, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to be using when I travel because I find that using a makeup bag is a little annoying because your brushes, <clears throat> they all layer like on top of each other. So if you have one that's dirty, then they all get dirty. Whereas if you have like a box, you can just lay them down at opposite ends and just avoid, avoid them rubbing and keeping them a little more sanitary. So Overall, very happy with this product. I will link it down below along with everything else that I'm talking about. So in case you guys want to check something out, <laughs> you can. Okay. I feel like I've been talking your guys' heads up. But this last product for this video is just like a home product. And you may laugh at me, but it's really made a difference in like how I'm caring about and it is, <laughs> it is this like, cup from Starbucks. I got this cup from um, Amazon, but I just, I have to tell you, when I first purchased these, I got these because my boyfriend is really big into iced coffees over the summer. So having iced coffees in like our regular coffee mugs, just, it wasn't working out because they're too small. So I went online and I found these on Amazon and I just thought they were so freaking cute. Um, so I got them to make iced coffees because we, truth be told, we would spend a lot of money at Starbucks um, to get an iced coffee. And I think part of it was just like having the cup and the straw and just like feeling cool. So I thought picking these up would be really funny. Um, but this is slowly but surely turning into my water cup. I just find myself more committed to drinking water like this in a cup 
And I don't know if it's just like the look of the cup or like what is it, but you know, my boyfriend brought up to me that I don't drink enough water, which is true. <laughs> so he, one day he was like, why don't you treat yourself nice when you're home? Like just slice up some lemon wedges, throw it in a cup and put in a straw and just like have something nice to sit. But I hadn't thought about that. I was like, you know what? Like, you're right. Why don't I treat myself nice? So I took his advice and I went ahead and did it. Nikita. So I took his advice and I went ahead and just did it. I sliced up a lemon, threw in some water and some ice in here. And I'm telling you, it's been a game changer. You know, I have the gallon, the gallon jugs that have like the lines on it with the time and you're supposed to drink water by that time and it has like encouraging words on it like keep going you can do it almost there but for some reason I can't make myself grab that jug fill it up with water I, it almost makes me feel like I can't drink it so <laughs> I find that just filling this up with water I'm more I'm more likely to go and refill it with more water than I am that gigantic gallon jug go figure I don't know what it is I know I definitely know it's a mental game with <laughs> the water like the size of it but I just find myself drinking a little more water so that's my tip to you guys you definitely have to look to stay hydrated over the summer it's incredibly important especially when the temperatures are up there so you know if you can treat yourself to a nice cup of water why not it's okay to be a little bougie as long as you're treating yourself right <laughs> okay but that pretty much sums up all my monthly favorite summer staples if you guys have any questions about any of these products let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these let me know what you think about them in the comments um, but yeah, we are back and hopefully next week I'm going to try and start uploading again weekly. Next week, I think I'm going to do an iced coffee video for next week. Um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I mean, thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot. And I hope you guys stick around for the next one. But in the meantime, take care. Go ahead and subscribe so you know when I've uploaded that video for you guys. And have fun. Enjoy summer. And just stay safe and take care. And yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.